Welcome to Rowdy Rants. I'm Rowdy. Back again. Unintended Consequences is the name of this video. Following Roe v. Wade, there's going to be some changes. There's going to be some significant impacts that most folks don't think about. However, one of my family members that I love very dearly, and we happen to be on totally opposite political spectrums, pointed it out. She's, she's brilliant. You know, that's what I, all I can say. Um, it gave me a lot of uh, room for thought. One of the unintended consequences, as far as uh, the people go, maybe not in D.C., but the people, is with out easy access to abortion on demand, uh, there's going to be more babies. And with more babies, that means there will be more instances of unwed mothers with those babies, and there will be more child support instances, which um, I admit could be interesting. And i uh, I've always been more or less old-fashioned on that. If it's mine, I want to have access to it, and I am going to support it. However, there are instances that I'm familiar with where that didn't work out too well. For instance, you have... Um, I have two friends of mine, specifically, that they were very clear in their relationships that they did not want children. They were not ready to get married. Yet both of these women that they saw chose not to use reproductive protection. And when they did, eventually both popped up pregnant. And as the men had said, they did not want children. Both men were asking their companions, girlfriends, to get an abortion. And both of them refused to get an abortion. So, of course, several months later, each individual was facing a child support hearing. Uh, that, that's uh, something that uh, people need to start really planning for. Men really need to uh, up their game And demand proof of reproductive care, meaning that uh, you you can see the birth control is being used because they're right. There's going to be more babies, lots more babies, and there's going to be a lot more guys out there paying child support. And I've always kind of had a problem with the issue of men having absolutely no choice when it comes to this child support thing. Now, I love my kids, and I, I wouldn't walk away from them for anything. But if you have an individual who has stated clearly he didn't want children, he does not want to get married, and the woman chooses not to use birth control. And now the option for uh, abortion on demand is not available. And the woman has the baby and saddles the male with 18 or more years of child support. And the male has no say in it whatsoever. He made his desires just as clear as could be. And who's to say that a woman ever even said anything about the fact that she was not protected? Everyone wants to talk about the male taking responsibility for his child, but how about the female taking responsibility for the fact that she failed to use adequate birth control? Now, if both parties are irresponsible, and it was an item that just never came up, of course, both of them get to be responsible. But this whole idea that... 
men have no say in the issue has always rankled me. Because to me, there's nothing like the fact that you're doing your job and you're under the impression that she's been taking care of business as far as birth control goes. And then five, six months later, she's pregnant. That's wrong. That's wrong. And what it's doing is it's saddling a person with paying child support who objected in the first place. If she wanted to have a child, she had, should have had a child with a man that wanted children. And it was very much pro for being there to support that child or being that child's father. This whole issue is so new to me because I've dealt with it as far as friends many, many times. Because, like I said, I have two friends that both, as a matter of fact, are still paying child support on children that in one of them's case, he has no access to the child because they're out of state. In the other one's case, he had to move. And yet they're both paying child support on children that they didn't want. They both thought that the woman was taking protective measures. And she didn't. And in one case, one of the women readily admitted to me that she just didn't care. She knew if she did get pregnant, that she'd be able to get child support. She already had one child. She was collecting child support on anyway. So I don't know. I'm not, I'm not assigning evil or deliberation of this. Uh, what I'm looking at is the fact that it's incredibly irresponsible. And you keep hearing about how the men need to assume responsibility for the children. Oh, excuse me. The baby factor is in the woman. And just like you're saying, you know, it's your body. Take responsibility for your body. Because what I'm seeing in a lot of this is what used to be called dirty pool. That's it. That's it. My name's Rowdy. That's my rant. You have a nice day. Yeah. Yeah, same thing. How long? Yeah, we can do another.